Hello, is this Julie? Yeah. What can I do for you? Um, a, f a friend from home gave me your number. I, I need somewhere to stay tonight. Make you jump. You're Mickey. Yeah. Thanks for texting. My bell's a noisy bastard. Show me your bag. Oh, it's right. Come on. Will you close the door behind? Thanks. I hope you don't mind sharing a room. Are there many others staying with you at the moment? No, just yourself and two others, but you never know. I often have girls topping and tailing by the weekend. Ah. Do you have a good shower? Yeah. Mickey, this is Helen. You'll be sharing with her tonight. Right. Hi. All right, well, if you need anything else, just let me know, okay? Couldn't afford a hotel either. No, not really. Spent the last new wages on my flights. Have to head back tomorrow night. Tell me about it. Work, work, work. Where do you work? Pub. My mum's pub. Work in an office like? Admin, paperwork, nine to five and all that. Yeah, I'm just gonna read for a bit. Okay. Sorry. If you need anything else, just give me a shout, okay? I couldn't find your washing powder. Sure. Do, do you think they'll stain? I have a few tricks. Look, about what you saw. Um, Look, do you think I could have my own room? It's just between the vomiting and the shitting blood and the crying, it's, it's, it's too much. Hmm? Oh, you think I enjoy getting vomit and blood out of my sheets on a daily basis? I don't know. It's good to have company. But that woman next door, she has her own room. That's different. Why, because she's older? 
Ethel's baby wouldn't have survived outside the womb. She would have had to carry it full term back home, knowing that. Oh, right. And as for Helen, look, you're very welcome here. But I work on a get what you're given basis. So make it fucking work. Is it like mushy inside? <laughs> yeah, there is a mushy bit. You just scoop it out and put it in the bin. Mm. What, you're not into vegetables? I like them on pizzas. My boyfriend says he's allergic. Yeah, boyfriend. Yeah, I'm not a slapper. Oh, well, that's, that's not what I meant. Where's your boyfriend? <laughs> I go to his place. <laughs> you know, if you like this, I can give you a little tub to take home. Thanks, but me and Mama will have tea sorted, I think. All right, so you live at home? Yeah. Cheaper, isn't it? Saving me money off. Mm hmm. For? Thailand. Oh, Thailand. Mm -hmm. Thailand. <clears throat> Hi, Mum. So, will you be back again soon? Yeah. Yeah, but look, if you just give me two seconds, why do you even care what he thinks? Yeah, but I'm fine, by the way, as well. Thanks for asking. I'm light as a feather. Why do you have to be such a bitch? What do you want? Sorry, I just wanted to get my charger. Yeah, you couldn't wait five minutes, no? I can wait, I can wait, I can wait. Just hurry up. Excuse me, can I see that? Cheers. All right, broccoli. Hi, I'm Helen, how are you? God, I'm so hungry. Can't wait for this. Here we go. Here you go. Uh, is that chicken? Yeah. I don't eat meat. Oh, Christ. Sorry, Mickey. I should have asked you. Can't you just not eat the chicken? It was cooked with chicken, Helen. Got squash in there, too. Yeah, I'll see what I have in the cupboard. What? Nothing. You just rolled your eyes at me? No, I didn't. You looked right at me and rolled your eyes. How can I be looking at you and rolling my eyes at the same time? Don't be such a smutters. I know you've got something to say. How about some canned lentils? Go on then. Nothing. Just we spent a lot of time making dinner. You peeled a couple of carrots. Thanks very much, Mother Teresa. Yeah, well, I didn't see you doing anything to help. I was a bit busy, bleeding like a slaughtered cow all over the place. You're not the only one, Mickey. We're all just trying to help. Help how? OK, girls. Calm it down, please. Mickey, I can do you a quick omelette. That do? Maybe Helen might want some. She seems to enjoy stuff in her face.
You weren't very nice to Helen just now. She was the one who christened me with the hot pot. I know. No, I get it. You could be on the tiles with your friends in Belfast instead of hanging out here with a middle-aged bag and a giddy teen. Helen's a teenager. <laughs> but she talked about her job and going to Thailand. She talks about lots of things. Where would she lie? Maybe she thought I'd contact her parents or that we'd take her more seriously if she was older. I would have taken her seriously anyway. Really? Like you did today, yeah? I'm a horrible person, aren't I? No, you're not horrible. You're just hurting. So is Ethel. And Helen, and I know she irritates you. But you don't have to prove anything. And you kind of need her as much as she needs you. Julie, there was no one else staying here tonight, was there? Well, you never know. Look, about last night, I'm sorry. Um, things just got a bit out of hand. It's okay. No, it's it's not. <clears throat> I thought you might want your clothes done. Julie said they've been banned from doing it at the clinic, so they do it here now. <laughs> she calls in her garden gnomes. <laughs> your mom doesn't know I'm here. I wish mine didn't. <sighs> I don't know what to do. You don't have to. It's done now. Oi! Why don't you just move on with your lives? You're spoiling the fake view. <laughs> and your flyers look like they were made in the Old Testament version of Microsoft Word. <laughs> 